This week on The Wire, banks pass on cash rate cut, multi-speed recovery drives markets, and digital banking reaches home loans. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's kick it off with our top story this week. Banks pass on cash rate cut. So the Reserve Bank has reduced the official cash rate by a quarter of a percentage point to a new low of 0.5%, with the major banks moving swiftly to pass on the full cut. So in a move that took many pundits by surprise, all four major banks, that's ANZ, Commonwealth Bank, NAB and Westpac, also passed the Reserve Bank's 25 basis point cut on in full to eligible standard variable rate home loan customers. Now the move will provide further impetus to rising residential property markets, which are providing security and solidarity as the share market struggles with the impact of the coronavirus. RBA Governor Philip Lowe says, it's too early to tell how persistent the effects of the coronavirus will be and at what point the global economy will return to an improving path. Policy measures have been announced in several countries, including China, which will help support growth. So inflation remains low almost everywhere and unemployment rates are at multi-decade lows in many countries. In most economies, including the United States, there is an expectation of further monetary stimulus over the coming months, particularly being a US election year. The coronavirus outbreak overseas is having a significant effect of the Australian economy at present, particularly in the education and travel sectors. The continued uncertainty that it is creating is also likely to affect domestic spending. And now for our next story, multi-speed recovery drives markets. So Australia's property market recovery is unfolding at varying speeds across different markets, say property valuers Heron Todd White. Many of the key property markets are beginning to recover or are rising. Sean Thomas, the director of Heron Todd White, says, there's a broad demographic range across Australian home buyers. Some buyers are traditional while others are evolving, but all tend to operate at different speeds. Low interest rates and government incentives have encouraged first home buyers into the market, though this demographic is unlikely to be buying in Sydney's expensive inner city suburbs. Brisbane and Perth tends to draw first home buyers, downsizers and families seeking better value than higher priced Sydney. Demand remains strong in Hobart where there is an increasing interest from empty nesters and climate changes, typically former Queensland and West Australian residents wanting to escape the heat. Technical advances are also allowing people to work from home, which means young professionals, new families and empty nesters tend to gravitate, gravitate towards low maintenance, high density housing along, tra along transport corridors in the major cities. And now guys, for our final story of the week, digital banking reaches home loans. So FinTech says neobanks or digital banks are set to become the new way of banking. Because neobanks operate entirely online, they do not have the costs associated with running bank premises and paying staff. So they are more cost effective and can offer better interest rates. Now the guidelines around how these organisations will operate are still being formed, but the Office for the Information Commissioner has released privacy safeguards as to how the new players and established banks must obtain consent from clients before acquiring and sharing their data, which includes a customer's financial position. Sector lobby group Fintech Australia, co-founder and chief executive of Athena Home Loans, Nathan Walsh, says that while open banking will not apply to mortgage products until the end of the year, he sees home loans as the main game for the regime because sharing of data will help customers access better deals and refinance. Well guys, they're the top stories happening this week. Now remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our next Just Ask Tim video series. And if you want to submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.